Hi, I'm Raki Thakra and I play Bliss in um, The Time War, Doctor Who. Bliss is the Doctor's companion and um, she was a student to begin with and got caught up in the Time War four box sets ago and has been travelling with the Doctor um, going through this incredible um, battle that takes, across, you know, takes um, place across lots of dimensions and lots of timelines and um, she is always trying to figure something out so she's always trying to figure out the like present danger but also she's trying to figure out stuff about herself and like I think at times she you know what has happened in her life where she's come from um, and that gets explored in different CDs. It's everything. Um, oh, I love it. It's really nice. You know what's really nice is to come back to something time and time again because you really get more confident with the character and um, f discover more things about her um, and unless you're doing like a long run running series you don't get that and with audio there's so much more um, uh, uh, script to get your teeth into so it's just it's a treat. I love it. Um, it's really good fun, actually, because what he does, everything feels really spontaneous and um, and you sort of never know if a line's going to have gravitas or it's going to be light or you just never know. And each take is different and um, it's just a joy to sort of play off. Read them about three times, four times. Like the first time I read them, I remember I was so, I always thought I was, I was out, out of my depth because you don't know the rules of everything um, and I think the more you read them you sort of start to get to grips with I guess like it's like the rules of like sci-fi and action it's almost like an action film as well I think the writers make it quite clear but you ha I think you do have to read them a few times um, and it, yeah and and the more I've done it the less I've uh, been confused at the first read. <laughs> Um, but it is, it's the, God, I, I was saying this yesterday, I can't, I don't know how the writers do it. It's so complicated and yet you could ask them about anything and it would all make sense. Like, you know, there's no sort of holes in the story. So today we have um, the Daleks and Davros and the Time Strategists, which are um, next together and it's super exciting because I didn't realise Davros was going to have an effect on his voice and it's so cool. It's different to the Dalek but you can see how they all link um, and it just it just makes the whole thing um, uh, really, you really feel that you're there with this sort of other spe species. Um, it's just very exciting. Well the Daleks, um, even if, I, I think if you, even if you haven't watched a lot of Doctor Who is sort of one of the most famous monster villains out there isn't there it's a bit like you know knowing um about james bond without watching a lot of the films which is a real uh, compliment to the whole time war uh, the whole doctor who um production and series is that it's permeated through conversations across the world um but it's really exciting to be in the booth with um the real dalek Yes, I um, I do have a favourite episode. It was, um, I think it was called Planet of the Ogrons and um, John Colshaw um, played him. And it was just, it was brilliant because it was funny and um, just felt slightly otherworldly because I think, I feel, I feel like that script had more, um, more co just conversations with him. And I think I was in a lot of the conversations with him and um, there, was just, there was just so much fun to do. Um, because I love all the action and the high octane like kind of danger stuff but my favourite bits are just the conversations with aliens or <laughs> Ogrons um, and he was really good at that. Need help. You must help. Help? Help who? Me. Help me. 
and the Doctor. Would you like Setsuma? One of the other favourites is State of Bliss, um, which is um, all about bliss. Um, and I remember when Matt was saying that the beginning of the third series is all about her, I didn't quite expect um, yeah, such a, such a deep uh, exploration of, of who she was and where she came from. And it's, yeah, it was a real joy to read. It's my people's fault that your world is no longer your world. All right then, uh, what do I do? I'm opening up the TARDIS telepathic circuits. You just have to make contact. What do I do, reach out with my mind? Just the hand will do. Uh, okay. Uh, if, if there's any way to find out what happened to them, I want to know. Think back. Remember how you came to be on the Theseus just before we met. I, uh, mm. that's weird. I... <laughs> I would want to see what it was like for my parents growing up, so I'd probably go back to India and Africa in the um, like sort of 60s um, and 70s, and what their lives were like. And especially because in for my for my dad, and he was living in Uganda, and so that was the time of Idi Amin and stuff. And so that would have been an adventure, probably not for the best reasons, but um, I think I'd want to sort of see what life was like for them. Gosh, yeah, I've been, um, well, I've been lucky enough to work with Nicola Walker and Alex Kingston. And, um, um, I don't know, who would I really love to, I mean, well, like David Tennant and um, Catherine Tate would be, would be <laughs> um, really special. Um, I think that was, I remember watching um, them. I can't believe how it worked because I'd only ever seen her do the sketch show. So it was just, um, it's almost like seeing a you know a comedy actor, even though she, it was you know she's still bringing comedy to it, um, doing drama, and it's always such a thrill when you see it's such a discovery about someone. So I'd love to see them up up close and personal. <laughs>